years ago, the U.S. was embroiled in the Gulf War, a six-month-long conflict against Iraq. Now, Nova Southeastern University is entering the second phase of a study looking at the long-term effects on veterans of that war. Medical specialist Christy Kruger has details in today's HealthCast. In August 1991, the U.S. led a coalition of nations in a war against Iraq for invading and annexing Kuwait. Miami native Jimmy Orocha was nearing the end of his military career when he was deployed as a staff sergeant in the U.S. Army's Airborne Assault Division. I've always known that there is no greater honor than to serve your country, bear arms in defense of your country. But that service came with consequences that only became more evident with time. I was doing very well throughout my career, but when I came back from the Gulf, one of the first things that I picked up on was this horrible chronic fatigue. Couldn't explain it. More than 150 researchers from around the globe are looking into the effects of the war on vets, a condition they've labeled Gulf War illness. Dr. Nancy Klimas with Nova Southeastern University is the lead researcher here in the U.S. in a study that involves both scientists as well as biologists. And we said, okay, instead of trying to understand this illness, through a, a tight focus lens. Let's just embrace the complexity. Let's just let it all flow and see if this computational approach can, can deal with that much data. The approach is helping identify and define a condition that right now the VA says doesn't exist. I was told by the VA that this was in your head. And now participating in research, these labels, these, these research findings, make sense. They connect to the complaints and they're real. Dr. Klimas believes the research will prove that point and come up with a way to more effectively treat the effects of Gulf War illness. The brain we're seeing in our imaging studies of Gulf War veterans looks like an early version of Parkinson's disease. So we want to get in there now quick and jump in there and try to fix it before worse things happen. And NSU recently received an $8.5 million grant for the second phase of this research. Any Gulf War veterans interested in participating in the study can find out more by simply clicking on a link to our story on our website, local10.com. With your HealthCast, I'm Christy Krueger.